All right, what is going on, everybody? So today, I did say I was going to film, and I am filming. Hopefully, it goes well. Uh, two days in a row for me. It's like the first time I've done this in forever. But today we have uh, tempo squat three by uh, three one tempo for a three by three uh, with a weight that's prescribed to me already, so no RP or anything. Then I have a five by one tempo bench single. Um, at six or seven, I believe. And then I have a uh, three by nine Larson as back downs for the tempo bench um, at a weight prescribed to me as well. So a lot of compounds today. Um, very fun and hard day. I get to go pretty heavy today, which is actually really nice. So I'll uh, happily take that. Um, I brought my injuries. I forgot them last time. I had to go back and get them. So I got them this time. Um, and I'm hyped. I had class this morning, um, ate some food like normal, my oats. I had a yogurt bowl for breakfast again. Um, I'm, I'm ready to go. I mean, I, I was looking forward to, I've been looking forward to benching for a little bit now since I just have like my new form back to like my hand placements back to what it used to be. So like, again, um, my bench is going to feel really different and it's probably going to look really different. So I want to see if it looks better or not. It should, and it should feel better as well. So uh, as long as both of those things are true, I'll be very happy because obviously I want to get better and move more weight. So as long as we'll see, I mean, it's an RPE bench, uh, my, my top set, so maybe I can go decently heavy. Um, hopefully get the leg drive involved like, a lot. Uh, obviously my grip is going to be my, uh, my ring finger. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that goes well. Squatting, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually. These three days in a row is actually really hard because I've never done these three days in a row. This is the first time doing these three days in a row. Last time I started on the second day. Um, I started on, well, technically I started on day four, right? But for me, it was obviously my first day in the block. It's day four, but my rest day is two days before. So it's really day two. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But like my block start, like my week starts on friday right so today is technically day five day five right because tomorrow is my day off with thursday and then friday starts day one but in reality the way i started with my coach my day one is my actual day four so i started with my coach on a tuesday so this is the first time i'm doing monday tuesday wednesday for my rest day today is wednesday so monday i didn't do last time obviously and that was my ssb high bar squat as well as close grip bench with walking lunges and it destroyed my legs and then yesterday i had paused deadlifts uh, which also i mean my legs feel fine but like you know it's more lower body work and then today i have squat and bench and then uh, accessories are both so definitely like gonna feel the fatigue hopefully actually so that tomorrow, my day off, I enjoy my day off, rest, and then Friday and Saturday are my compounds, and I'm good. So hopefully, I actually get significant amount of fatigue from this workout. So I can push, I feel like I can push this pretty hard, because tomorrow I have off. And then obviously Friday and Saturday are my comp lifts, um, just like strict competition form. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it a little bit more than uh, normally I would, just because I don't love squatting usually, it's my least favorite of the compounds. But uh, I, I do like to go heavy on everything. So today I have a three by three, so it's decently heavy. And the tempo squats, I feel like actually have helped me a lot just because my biggest problem was like when I'd go in the hole, I'd shoot into the hole and then I'd get in the hole, I'd lose all tension. When I try to get up, I'd do like a good morning to try to get it back up because I didn't keep the same position. So with tempo squats, obviously you have to go one, two, three seconds down, keep the exact tight position, pause it in the bottom and then pop up. So you keep your attention like the whole entire lift and it's, helps my form a lot because that was my biggest weakness. same with bench uh because like i on rack reload everything's really tight everything's really tight go down and the second i get above my chest i lose all tightness let it bounce and pause and then go up so tempo teaches you to keep tension the whole entire time until it touches your chest and then go up without losing any tension at all so they're both really good for form honestly i feel like i've never done tempo before like the last few weeks and i, I kind of regret it because i feel like it would have locked in my form a lot earlier just because it, it keeps you strict. Like you have to have good, strict form. Otherwise, it's not going to work too well. So that's kind of nice. 
Um, I talked to my deadlift yesterday how my form has changed a little bit. I started pulling slack and everything. Just started pulling, like, I started pulling from the second I touched the bar. Like, the second my hands gripped the bar yesterday, I have to, like, my last set, you can see, the second I gripped the bar, started pulling, and then the hips go, and I just shoot. I used to, you see in the first warm-up set, I literally would get into position and then shoot my hips forward a bunch until I feel comfortable and ready to go and explode. Instead, I just grab the bar, breathe in, go, rip, which is what you're supposed to do. Uh, that's what everybody does that you see. And that's why it makes sense now because you have so much tension the second you start pulling, you can't keep that tension. Like if I sit and hold there, I'm gonna be dying. Like I'm not gonna be able to keep the tension. So you take one big breath and you just go, just rip. So that definitely felt better. I think my dev's really gonna get close to like being really good. It's already like my numbers are going up a lot. I think they're gonna keep going. So my deadlift's pretty good. I actually need my squat to blow up because compared to my deadlift, my squat is kind of not a good, like not good. It's not awful, but like I pretty much have the two plate, three plate, four plate, like maxes, which isn't really true, but like I can deadlift 405, I can squat 315, I can bench 225. I, I can probably bench closer to 250. 315 is probably like right where my squat is, and I can probably deadlift around 405, maybe a little more, a little less. But one is my squat is pretty far off my deadlift. It's 90 pounds off my deadlift, which isn't amazing. Usually they're like closer, I feel like, especially when you're lighter. So as I get heavier, I assume my squat will go up because everybody says it's easier to squat when you're heavier and your deadlift doesn't really change from what I've seen. So as long as my deadlift keeps going up, my squat should hopefully follow soon and bench is always iffy for everybody. It jumps, it doesn't jump, but hopefully everything goes up. Um, I might start hitting one rep PR is honestly the next two weeks, probably not next week, but like my week after that's my last week of the block and it's RP like eight for almost everything, like seven and a half, eight. And honestly, I feel like that could be new PRs for me. Like, I feel like I can hit, like I've only officially ever hit like competition style 225 bench. I have a feeling in two weeks, I will have at least 225 on the bar for an RP of eight. So hopefully I can get to like 230 or 235 on the bar and make it move an RP eight. That'd be amazing. That'd be, that'd make me really, really happy uh, for all my lifts, honestly. Like anything I have a single for or a triple for, like just PRs is all I'm really aiming for. Uh, obviously keep it in the RP range, but hopefully hit PRs. So yeah, um, I'm going to drink my pre like always, and uh, I'll see you guys in the gym. Oh, Jesus. Oh, ow. All right. Come on.
That is true. I would. I really would. All right, so uh, she got stuck. I don't know if you guys saw that, but literally got stuck on the rack. Snow moved pretty good, so I'm going to get a 90. Hopefully this moves at our P6. We will see. That's it. Come on.
someone of your patient with me. manage you I'm wrong Drake needs to carry. I'll take it 18. Go black out. Alright, super solid workout. Let's see what the pump looks like. Chest pump's probably gonna be pretty good. Side chest probably gonna look pretty pretty good. Alright, so Take it. See what the, the abs look like. You take it. It's like a maybe like a this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's get in the car. All right, another solid lift down, another solid session. Um, obviously, my tempo squats, I'm not going to lie, they were beautiful. I don't like to, like, usually talk about form like that because I'm usually not the best, but my squats today were beautiful. Like, on the second, my first set was mid, and then the second set, you can see um, my, coach, my coach told me to just, like, put my elbows up more and like hold them up a little higher instead of like pushing them down when I brace like I, I accidentally was doing and just like 
brace a little higher with my elbows and beautiful like that is by far the best my squats ever looked not even like close to debatable it was all one solid fluent motion like they all moved really well like obviously it was really light today but that's the point of tempo it's just like you know it's just like form work so it can be light but they moved amazing i'm really happy with how it moved bench moved really good too that was 90 kg in theory my pr is actually 100 kg on a competition bench like one second pause heels on the ground ass on the ground everything like competitionally judged is 225 or 100 kg is the highest i've ever actually hit i said 90 kg for a five second tempo at rp6 my bench is going to fly i have competition once i have competition bench this week i might end up hitting a pr like genuinely it might be rp7 for me to hit 225 right now like, i'm gonna be so happy next week because obviously today was my last day of the block tomorrow i have off and then friday starts my next week sorry not day of the block next last day of the week friday starts my next week so that means everything will be rp7 next week pretty much pretty much everything not like obviously not it's like rp7 down the road but like it's pretty much rp7 for my compounds so my bench is going to start flying i can already tell so is my squat so is my everything's gonna start flying my form is now like pretty much at the point where like it's just like now it's just like little tiny tweaks before it was like little tweaks but like some like something major like a foot chain like my foot had to go a different spot or my arch or something my grip now from now on everything i do is going to be little tiny tweaks so i'm just going to tweak and it's going to make my weight easier to move like nothing at this point is going to get harder my weight should never go down until i need like a deload or like like nothing like I, there's no reason my weight should be going down right now at all everything should be skyrocketing up with perfect form so i'm really excited it's got me really hyped for the rest of the block um and then obviously next block i get to more strength stuff and even higher rp stuff like I love it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to lift some heavy ass weight. Like I'm ready to do some heavy like doubles and singles and triples like that. I get to choose like heavy ass weight from RP and just moving. Like I, I, I'm ready. It's been a while since I've had like heavy, like a strength block because I haven't ever had a meet. When I did my mock meet, it was off a of Jeff Nifford program, which didn't have like a strength block. It was just like a general power building program. I've never had like a power lifting, peaking and strength block. So obviously there's a lot of time i meet in january so i have you know another 11 10 weeks still 11 12 weeks still but next block is probably going to be very strength focused and the week the block after that's going to be obviously a peaking block so that peaking block i'm going to hit heavy weight before the meet hopefully like hopefully my numbers are even higher than i imagine they are which would be amazing i actually i'd love that like i really would um but either way am i not recording I don't know how much of that just went blurry or whatever, but either way, I am going to be thriving in my next vlog. I cannot wait. I'm really excited. I hope you guys heard all that because I was kind of talking. I was kind of surviving, but everything's moving. Form's looking good. Larson felt good. Everything felt good today. The pump was okay, but it's not really supposed to be a pump day. It's more completely technical work. So any pump at all, any pump at all, I was honestly happy with today. And I had a decent little pump. Uh, pushed abs really hard. I'm cramping right now, and I'm going to be cramping probably tomorrow, but I get to rest tomorrow, so good, good week. Uh, I did film two days in a row, so I probably won't film again, honestly, for a solid, like, four or five days, unless I film, uh, we'll see. I either will film my comp squat and bench or my comp dead, or, like, I won't film for, like, a whole week because I've already filmed most of the days, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not going to commit to anything right now, it just depends how my week goes. I also have some some tests next week. So, like, my gym might have to be more, like, quick locked-in sessions, not so much, like, talking to everybody and, like, the camera and stuff. Um, so we'll, we'll see about that. But good good two days of filming, good two days of work done. Gonna go eat some food, gaining weight steadily. I think I, hit, I was I think I was 175.4 today. It will be in the title, but I think I was 175 today. Finally broke the 175 mark, which is kind of nice because I'm still pretty lean um I'm, everything's moving right now like it, it's good like the block is just i'm excited right now everything is workout wise is perfect so I'm not going to complain about anything like that and uh the only thing i will say is cardio i have not been doing cardio i'm not instructed to cardio but i haven't even looked at cardio in like 
two months. It's a little scary just because, like, obviously I don't want to do cardio because that means I have to eat even more. And, like, I don't want to have to eat more. I know, like, I'm eating a lot already and I'm already, like, not struggling to eat what I have to eat. But, like, if I had to eat more, it'd be, like, annoying. Like, I don't want to have to eat more anymore. Um, so cardio would just help. Like, it, it would make it harder for me to bulk up. I know it does keep you leaner and it makes your heart healthy, but I think I lift enough and I walk enough out of lifting that I'm okay, but I might have to eventually start doing cardio again just to stay lean. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to my coach about that, but I know everybody's like, do your cardio, do your cardio. I am like strictly a power lifter right now. Like I am not doing cardio, which is kind of interesting to me because it's a big flip from what I used to do. Obviously, I used to do a lot more bodybuilding stuff. So you yeah, have a solid workout. Uh, everything felt good. Hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, see you guys in the next one.